What's up, what's up, what's up, my brothers and sisters in Christ? This is Reverend Bertram B.J. Major, and I welcome each and every single one of you to episode 114 of the Sunday World Report. It's Resurrection Sunday 2023. We are celebrating the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let me tell y'all something that's really been bothering me leading up to this episode. So... You know how there are some people who, you know, say that we shouldn't celebrate Christmas because Jesus wasn't born on December 25th. You have some people saying we shouldn't celebrate the resurrection because every day should be a day we celebrate Jesus. Of course, every day ought to be a day we celebrate Jesus. But listen here, and I, I constantly keep saying this. Yes, he wasn't born on December 25th. We don't know the day or the month, but a day has been set aside to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We don't know when he rose from the grave, but a day has been set aside. Whether it's in March or April, a day is always set aside this time of the year to celebrate his resurrection. You know what really is going on? I, and I'm going I'm to just say it like it is. There are too many so-called believers got they know so up in the air that they think they are sounding smart and on point, but they are so far gone. Every day should be a day we celebrate Jesus. What he done for us on the cross and just for him being born, we should celebrate that every day. But a day has been set aside to, to, to truly reflect and to celebrate his birth and resurrection. I don't know about you all. I celebrate him every day. But when it comes to December 25th or this time of the year, oh, you best believe I'm celebrating his birth in December and I'm celebrating his resurrection in the spring. Always celebrate Jesus. You don't have to wait till December to celebrate his birth or, or this time of the year to celebrate his resurrection. Always celebrate Jesus Christ. That's my word for you all today. Always celebrate him. All I do know is that because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future. And because of that, life is worth the living just because he lives. I get so tired. Every Christmas, every resurrection, so you got those who, who talking about we shouldn't be celebrating that. Yes, Christmas is not about Santa Claus. Yes, Resurrection Sunday is not about the Easter Bunny. Christmas is a day to celebrate Christ. Resurrection Sunday is a day to celebrate Jesus for what he did by, by, by dying on the cross and rising from the grave with all power wrapped up in his hands. Do not get so caught up in yourself that you miss out on what he has for you on this day. Come on now, y'all. Always celebrate him. He's been too good to us. He's been better to us than we have been to ourselves. On this resurrection Sunday, my word for you from here on out is to always celebrate Jesus. You are here because of Jesus, the son of the living God, king of kings, lord of lords, alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. And guess what? Because he died and rose again, you have a right to the tree of life. So if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your lord and savior, now is the time to do it. Now is the time to say yes to him. If you want to accept Jesus Christ into your life as your personal Lord and Savior, please contact me. I will pray for you. I will help you in any way I can. Do not tune off of today's episode of the Sunday Word Report and you have not said yes to Jesus Christ. Don't put this off. He's waiting on you. If any man be in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things are made new. <laughs> and, and it's resurrection. So I say this every time during the invitation because it's so off the chain. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And, and I love Romans 5, 8. I wasn't going to say this, but the Lord's given me to say this. God commended his love toward us. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Let me make it more plainer. Another translation say God demonstrated his love toward us. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Doesn't matter where you're at right now. Doesn't matter what your mess is. Let God come on into your heart through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And let him change your life around. Let him change your mind, your heart, your soul. Let him turn that mess into a message. He's waiting on you. He's knocking at the door of your heart. Today will you hear his voice. Hard not your heart. But let Jesus Christ come on in and change your life around. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Today is the day, y'all. Today is the day. Always celebrate Jesus. He's worthy of all the praise, glory, and honor. That is it for today's Resurrection Sunday episode of the Sunday Word Report. Tune in on the fourth Sunday, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a brand new episode of the Sunday Word Report. Episode 115. Get ready. It's coming on the fourth Sunday. Until then, this is Reverend Bertram B.J. Major signing off telling each and every single one of you to stay great, stay safe, and be blessed.